Several airlines have been axing domestic and international flights due to multiple challenges, with the shortage of staff being at the top of the list. This has affected the travel plans for thousands of Brits, which have already been delayed due to the pandemic-related restrictions. The UK government has also ordered the airlines to cancel flights now that they won't be able to deliver later to avoid further disruptions. However, more challenges await travellers. According to the consumer group Which, the government has planned to reduce the compensation for travellers when flights are severely delayed or cancelled. The group estimates the average payout per passenger could come down to £163 if the new plan comes into force. And under the new scheme, refunds will be offered based on price and length of delay, which could bring back practices like overbooking and denied boarding. So in light of this, let's take a look at two FTSE-related airline stocks and how they've been faring. Starting with International Consolidated Airlines, or IAG, which is the owner of the UK's flag carrier, British Airways. The company has been cancelling hundreds of flights every week. On Tuesday, British Airways cancelled about 110 flights to several destinations in Europe, saying that most of the cancellations were pre-planned. And recently, the carrier blamed background checks for the shortage of staff, causing delays and cancellations. Shares of IAG have provided negative returns of 44.46% to investors over the past year. Meanwhile, its year-to-date return stands at around negative 23.34%. Another stock to explore is the budget airline EasyJet, which is the UK's largest carrier in terms of passenger volumes. EasyJet has reduced its flight schedule for June to decrease the pressure of shortages and prevent any further travel chaos. It too saw numerous cancellations in recent months due to several factors, including staff shortages. Recently, EasyJet cancelled all flights from the UK to a holiday hotspot in Egypt in June and July. Over the past one year, its share value has depreciated by more than half and the year-to-day return has slipped by 24.78%. Now that you're up to speed, hit that bell icon to stay updated and boost your financial IQ. I'm Holly Shields for Kalkine Media.